The truth is, and this is hard to say, I don't think I appreciated Bruce enough. I didn't tell him how I really feel about him. But I do love you. And I always will. Bruce's cousin, Darby. He's been travelling in Asia. He was my second favourite cousin. I can't believe he's gone. No, I'm not surprised at all. What? He didn't tell you? Great great granddaddy Gilbert Gustav Duncan. Killed in a magpie attack via 1908. My pa's great uncle. Well, he fell all to pieces one day, right where he stood in Hobson's field. The doctor said it was a galloping leprosy. John Duncan. Magpies. Again. Ricky Duncan. Well, he just disappeared one day. No one knows what happened to him. His firstborn son, Louis Duncan's heart stopped cold when he was struck by one of his students in the Hari Makazuki pressure point. Sensei! Second cousin Herbert got crushed by a block of frozen urine from a passing jetliner. And now, cousin Bruce. Accidentally dissolved in a vat of acid at the acid factory. Five generations down the line, my kin have gone to the grave young men. Duncan men are cursed to only see the light of 10,000 days. How long is that? Next Tuesday. What do you intend to do? Suck the marrow out of the life I have left. Like how? You know, the Buddhists in Asia told me I'd come back in a different form. I was thinking like a hawk or a turtle or maybe a disease. It's a load of bullshit. 
Once you're gone, you're in the ground, you're dirt, and that's it. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. It's all right. I like it. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> you're so honest, Arabella. I feel like I've known you my whole life. They say a dying tree gives off the sweetest fruit. I want you to talk at my funeral. But we've only just met. You know me better than anyone. What do you want me to say? Just tell them the truth. Tell them my life was too short. Because I loved too much. And I feared too little. Tell them I never wasted a moment on doubt or hesitation. Or regret. I was a lover, and a fighter, and a poet. Tell them I danced on the edge, and I drank down life. To its last sweet drop. I guess that's it. How do you think it'll happen? I don't know. Magpies, probably. Hey. Hey, don't cry. Hey. <laughs> At least we got to roll some beautiful marbles across the dance floor, yeah? Yeah. You read this? I crossed the international date lines a couple of times. Didn't take that into account. Oh. It'll definitely happen tomorrow, or the next day. I see. So, what are you up to today? I just wanted to say that this one more day with you, it meant more than me in an entire lifetime. I have to catch my bus. Okay. Look, I am bepuzzled as you are. I was just wondering if I could have a small loan of, like, like 20 bucks, something. Yeah, I'll check my purse. 
We. Yeah. Okay, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll try to be there. Hi. Sorry, my bus was late. Oh, it's fine. <clears throat> uh, so I did some research, <clears throat> and it turns out that sometimes the curse skips a generation. Huh. Yeah. So what are you doing now? I've been selling boat insurance over the phone, you know. <clears throat> it's not really my passion, but I'm making a good fist of it. Yeah. Good for you. Arabella, will you marry me? No. No, I won't. But I love you. I mean, don't you love me? Uh, to be honest, even more of a rebound thing. <laughs> You know, it looks like there's a storm coming in. Do you want to ride home? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Brakes are gone. What? And so's the clutch. Oh my god. Okay. Um. It is the woods. What are we gonna do? Uh, uh, okay, look. I'll hold you steady. And you jump. No, no. Look, look at me. Look at me, Arabella. No. Look at me. No. This is how it has to be. Dabby asked me to say something about him. But I don't know what to say, really. Except that I do love you. And I always will. Thank you.